Bentley. I'm the co-founder and director of After and the owner and director of 163 Gallery. I extensively work with early career and recently graduated artists and we're going to be talking about effective ways that you can promote yourself. One of the most effective ways an artist can promote themselves is by honing their voice, being able to confidently and concisely communicate your practice. I can assure you, artists that talk with ease and confidence about their work have practiced for months, probably years. It's a skill that can be learned, and so I suggest taking every opportunity to discuss your work with friends, peers, curators, and the general public. A good tip would be to take the initiative and organize regular art salons. These would typically be um, a small gathering of fellow creatives who take turns discussing their work in an informal and supportive environment. If you are lucky enough to have a studio in a large artist block, you could invite your neighbors to take part in a regular salon evening. It's also very common for local artists to meet up in their homes or pubs or bars. And you could also organize Zoom salons to connect with artists further afield. The goal is to become an expert on your own practice. A good starting point when talking about your work is to focus on communicating three key points. For example, open with a brief introduction to your practice, your inspiration for making the work, and any sort of unique techniques, processes or materials that are integral to your work. At all costs, avoid art speak and sales pitches. Just be honest, open and ready to engage. An incredibly effective way of promoting yourself is through collaboration. Positioning your practice at the cutting edge of ideas and technology by working with fellow creatives, professionals and experts in their fields will build your reputation, skills and audience while maintaining artistic rigour. It's very possible that a collaborative project may also provide financial support to help you develop and make work. The secret to identifying a potential collaboration is all in the research. The goal is to identify and understand the core aims and values of any potential partner. For example, forward-thinking establishments and businesses will have mission statements available to read on their website, possibly including examples of projects or events that they have supported. You are trying to identify areas where their aims and interests intersect with your practice. This is where the magic happens. A successful proposal will clearly show how a collaborative project with you will help them achieve their objectives. Another good example of promoting yourself is taking part or coinciding your projects with local, regional and national events and festivals. You can quickly grow an audience and it's an invaluable experience working to a brief and deadline. Become your own curator and build your own exhibition program. Start by compiling a list of every festival and event in which you're interested in taking part. Most major cities and countries will have established annual art festivals and there are always new independent art events popping up. So make sure you sign up for alerts or follow on social media where possible. I would suggest buying a large wall calendar planner and marking the, the dates of all relevant festivals and events. Most art festivals will have a call for entry or submission deadline that is at least six months to a year before the event opening. So you need to plan your exhibition schedule well in advance. If you're not taking part in an official event, you can still tie in your project to fringe activities. A good example of this will be uh, things like Art Basel, Freeze, Desert X, Paris Photo, Venice Biennale, Masterpiece. These events ignite huge activity for the surrounding area and independent venues. If you plan ahead, you can make an advanced booking on a potential venue or develop a proposal for any kind of local space that will allow you to take advantage of these huge ready-made audiences. As we all know, social media is very valued, but it's also very demanding. I would strongly suggest only using the tools that you are comfortable with and can maintain a momentum of professional and engaging content. You don't want to be tending to your accounts more than you are tending to your practice. The most effective use of your time is to consider the audience that you would like to build. A 
and just concentrate on content that will achieve this. Focus on engagement rather than followers. Thoughtful and curated content will yield more meaningful social connections. It's an opportunity to take your audience on a creative journey that's building insight and connection to your work. A good example of this would be showing work in progress or a short video of a new technique that you are experimenting with. Also, use social media as an opportunity to move outside of your studio and make face-to-face -face connections. For example, perhaps a gentle interview with a fellow artist or maybe a curator that you would like to work with or even discussing a recent show that you found inspiring. Content just needs to be short and sweet and the connections you make will be rewarding. An artistic career takes time to build and an integral part of that is taking the time to build relationships with fellow creatives and art professionals. It's very important to support their work, their shows, their practice. People will respond in kind. As the famous quote goes, 80% of success is just showing up. My personal experience in the art world certainly bears this out. So many career opportunities have come my way by impromptu conversations at events and taking the time to talk with artists, curators and creative professionals. A good tip is a little preparation before an important social event. If you know there will be people attending whom you'd like to make a connection with, a quick Google will ensure you can recognise them. It may seem old fashioned, but it's still effective to have a good quality business card to hand, ideally with a great image of your work. If you get chatting, keep it brief. Private views are notoriously difficult for having in-depth conversations. Thank them for their time and then ask the best way that you can stay in touch in the future. Another great benefit of attending events is building a database of potential partners. Take note of event sponsors and supporters as you never know when a collaborative opportunity might present itself.